Now you're a Texas Ranger. Designated hitter number 18, Mitch Jarvis. Designated hitter number 18, Mitch Actually felt pretty good. Uh, physically felt good. Mechanics felt pretty good. Uh, bullpen was great. First inning was all right, and then kind of the second inning just sort of, uh, I don't know, just kind of lost it a little bit. Um, just trying to mix in some more changeups and was not like not carrying it through the zone um, very well, and so that kind of like got me behind in counts, and so a little disappointed in that because I'm definitely like kind of pride myself in attacking the strike zone and living with the results. So a little bit kind of felt, you know, frustrated at like falling behind. But at the same time, it's the first spring training start. I feel good. I'm, I'm done. So, you know, that's uh, it's kind of what, what you want to see out of the first one. Sometimes these spring training games, you get to face double-A guys right there in first up <laughs> bats. Yeah, was, yeah. Uh, 
Well, I mean, I went 2-0, and then I was like, I really just want to, like, see a strike, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to start my spring training first game off going 3-0 on a guy or nibbling or trying, you know what I mean? So I was like, I'm just going to kind of throw it down the middle. <laughs> and, I mean, he hit it out. Like, that's not surprising. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm not all that mad about it. But, uh, just, again, more like getting to 2-0 and then kind of I'm a little stubborn in, in that way. Just, like, want to see want to see one in there. So, um you know, it happens. I'm not. I'm not uh, going to worry about it. Is that something you would have done in the regular <clears throat> season too, or is that just you know again first time spring training out? Or? Yeah, I probably would have thrown something else there. Um, but yeah, just wanted to wanted to see one in there. Got that first start out of the way. Uh, how are you adapting to the new rules with the clock and everything? How did you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, I got hit with a, a citation on one there. Uh, just kind of. To be honest, I completely forgot that the clock existed there for a second. It shook to a pitch, and then I had a runner on, and I could have stepped off and avoided getting balled there. So just something to get used to. Obviously, it's spring training just for pitching, but now it's you know spring training getting used to those things. So uh, I'll, I'll clean that up as we get going. Who was the pitch clock violation against? I think it was Vargas, maybe. Vargas in maybe inning. it was in the second inning, right? It was a two-two count that went to three-two. I don't. Know. I think it was Vargas, but I can't remember. Okay. Um, so, spring training doesn't matter. The first story of spring training doesn't matter until you get until you're looking at three-zero at the first inning, right? Yeah, I mean, like, I, <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. No, 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 I know what you're saying. Like. It matters in the sense of like how you feel, not in the results. I mean, I am one of the worst spring training pitchers there is. There's no denying that. I'm not getting around that. I'm not even ashamed of that. To some extent, like I would rather be giving up hits right. than going 2-0 or 3-0 on a guy. Like I really, I don't want to say I don't care because I do care. Like I would rather get people out. That's the name of the game. But right. um, I'm going to take more pride in spring training in attacking guys, and I didn't do that, and that's what bothers me. Like. Not getting out of innings, getting 2-0 on guys like that's what bothers me more about it. And Hayward was a was a fastball. Offense. Yeah, yeah. Was, I think I threw him slider, got to 0-1, and then was supposed to go in there, and it just was very much not in. Okay. In a general sense, I know it's maybe about three weeks into spring training. How are you feeling, just acclimating to you know, the clubhouse, the Rangers? Good. Yeah, really good. I mean, I think just you know, um, kind of getting into that routine. Like I'm on a five day schedule now for me like getting into that like with staff and everybody like getting to know like kind of my routine that's important and and then you know from the team side of things like it's always nice when you just start games right like you're in the dugout like you kind of get a vibe for for guys and kind of how they their demeanor and stuff like you know in the game versus you know in the clubhouse and stuff like that so just getting to know guys I mean it definitely takes time.